Most organizations do not make money off of their competitive players because the majority of competitive players do not bring in viewership. They don't stream or anything. They don't make like profit off like they don't make profit off of like tournaments. They don't make like the way organizations can make money off of your players is like viewership. Like the viewership that the competitive players like they, they can bring in. Relying on any type of prize pool except unless it's like maybe Dota or some shit. Maybe legal. Yeah, not even. I don't even know. I don't even think. I don't even know if League is like profitable just off of price pool but you yeah, know like dark zero one two lands and it just did nothing off of that like off their um achievement you know like they didn't build off of it it's literally just it's the org's fault not you know you know trying to encourage their players to be streaming or anything like that kind of everybody's fault uh I, maybe maybe like i might be wrong but i think a lot of organizations they do not they don't offer any structure to like anything when it comes to like when they sign anybody like when you sign a professional player or you sign like a content creator there is like very little structure on how to do their job if that makes sense like no org i feel like rarely or offers any of their players like any type of like schedule in they just kind of like you're signed oh, okay just do whatever you want you know it's kind of like i don't know I might be wrong but that's like i feel like that's a huge well, it's, I guess not incentives, but it's just more like structure. Like having structure, like how to be a professional. Like if I was TSM or if I was like any org and I'm signing people that I'm paying like five them. grand a month, I should be requiring or giving them like a schedule or whatever it might be to either stream, make YouTube videos, etc., and make it like a requirement and not just like get paid 5k a month just to compete and participate in tournaments you know what i'm saying like you don't that's like that's literally what you most orgs do you get signed to an organization and like obviously some orgs have like little things that are in the contract about like streaming hours and shit but i don't know, like there's not like a lot of orgs are just not strict they just like let, let you do whatever the fuck you want it's like dumb really stupid no there needs to be a schedule you're paying we're dealing with money and like People, like big businesses behind like the organization and shit like organizations need to be more strict and more like structured around the idea of it actually being a job so one like people you know shit there's, there's no layoffs less layoffs happen and less layoffs happen and people also understand like because most of the people that get employed through organizations are younger right so they don't really understand what the fuck they're doing right? yep up Get it like, usually, most people that are behind orgs are older, and they can teach the like the Nobody's players and shit what you're supposed to be it's doing. But yeah, as I said, like the same way that most like like most players or content creators, or I guess more players, not the content creators, but the players that are like competing in professionally for in games, they just most of them don't have any like guidance or discipline or any knowledge of behind of like how to treat a job even though you're playing video games. So like orgs need to like, organizations need to implement things to like be more strict and just teach people things. And if they're not willing to, if the you know, players are not willing to learn, then you're gonna get dropped eventually anyways, because you're not doing your job.